Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're live on the air and it is 7.14 on... Let me stop. You're doing a lot, my nigga. Yo, you're doing a lot. <laughs> Greetings, people. Greetings, gentle people. And all these and things. Another week, but they're still... Yes. Yes, we are here. Um... I have like a bunch of stuff that I had like notes from a previous episode that we were supposed to record and I guess we never recorded, but I don't know. So I have questions. I don't know if you remember us talking about, um, I feel like we did talk about this. Uh, what was it? A police department in North Carolina resigning after they got a black lady as a manager. I feel like we talked about you that. You kind of said something. I don't know if we went too deep or dove in. Mm, not interested. Know, it's it, old. Yeah, kind of skimmed it. Yeah, yeah mm, it's okay delete that we, it's fine delete that off the notes <laughs> this nigga got like a whole little got a little notepad because mm-hmm. you know, know my memory who sucks knows? it's about to just be um, miscellaneous <laughs> miscellaneous um damn so maybe we talked about all of this then shit oh <laughs> This is new. You saw the video of Marky talking about how he met some girl. And then when he went to her Instagram, he was like, these are two different people. Because she photoshopped and facetuned her picture so much that he didn't recognize her in person. Who? Marky Markland. He was just talking about somebody coming up to him and was like, hey, I love you. We follow each other. Mm-hmm. Da, da, da. And he was like, oh, we do? And she was like, yeah, my Instagram is da, da, da. He goes da, da, da. and he looks. And he was like. No way. <laughs> Look on the phone, look on the girl, look on the phone, look on the phone. Say, are you this? <laughs> like, no, but but there's a lot of catfishes out there. Like, makeup yes. is the devil. I done told y'all, makeup is the devil because I mean, everybody's beautiful, right? Yeah, that whole mm-hmm. thing. Uh-huh, Beauty's right? in the eye of the beholder, sure, and all that stuff because mm-hmm. <clears throat> God don't make mistakes <laughs> and so on. But these women, though, sometimes they be looking a little rough. Let's just put it like that a little rough, and they slap. Mm-hmm. Or that they look like completely different people. Yes. It's trickery, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm all for, like, wearing makeup in, like, a creative way of expressing yourself. Like, when they do, like, the effects makeup and, like, whatever, I'd be like, hell yeah, that shit looks cool as fuck because, like, nigga, you are talented. Like, the Halloween stuff and, like, whatever and, like, mm-hmm. you know, shit like that. I'm like, that is amazing. But, like, people who be doing, like, the contour, like, your nose just went from, like, indigenous to, like, Caucasian. And yeah. I am That was watching appalled. something the night. And it was, like, you know those shows where they have multiple views and then they have, like, those um, confessionals? Mm-hmm. So there was one scene where the nose was, like, one way. And by the time the person got to confessional, the nose was, like, a totally different oh. nose. And oh, my like, God. Oh, that is concerning. I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I just, I like natural women. Yeah, I like women same. Just, I don't care. Shorty pimple them. Like, Nigga like and I feel care. like, huh? Exactly. Nigga like, like me don't care. I don't give a damn about no damn blemish, no damn pimple. Also. Like, who cares? Like, I'd rather your face, let your face breathe. I just feel like those things and like, after a while of using them, yo, tear up your face. Especially if you don't use them the way that you're supposed to, because people be falling asleep in their I'm makeup and shit. Yo, I'm sleeping at them. Some people. Yeah, some of them get up. Mm-mm. Or or they'll wear their makeup for like the whole day. Like from the time you yes. wake up seven o'clock in the morning till fucking twelve o'clock at night and then you go party, whatever, whatever, come back like, three o'clock in the morning, the makeup's yeah, still on. When everybody take it off, like said, them fears for real, like them light on your night, them go sleep, then wake up. All I do is get something else and touch, and touch it up. And gone again. Don't even take off. <laughs> well, they funny for yesterday. Like. That is concerning. And I know they've come a long way with makeup as far as like making it more breathable. And making it more skin friendly or whatever but you still got to take that shit off and like exactly. do an actual skincare routine like yeah, rejuvenate your shit on. sometimes yo sometimes people take off makeup look like someone dumped peanuts in mm-hmm. I'm just like yo you look different why, why? completely now let me and then <clears throat> let me just say in my yes. um in my whole days you know, Mm-mm. <laughs> um it's been a, you know, I've had a few times where I've been surprised, just a little, just a little surprise in the morning, you know, because kind of different, you know what I mean? Like, oh shit. 
Saturday night is one something. Sunday morning or something else. Sunday morning, I want different something again. No, it's just like, where did your face? Oh my gosh, you're. It's different. in the pillowcase. You're still beautiful. <laughs> it's not even that because it's like a lot of these women too be beautiful as shit without makeup. So natural, so pe- mm-hmm. just ooh, chef's kiss. And then they put this makeup on, and I'm like, why did you? I really want to understand the science behind it, especially like the quote unquote natural look. It's like. Why are you doing natural look when you could just look natural? Like, right, right. No comprendo. Like, I don't I get it. It's a natural beat. No. It's no. still a beat. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be natural, but like, that's not what your face really looks like. I can understand right. if you have like, you know, like a pimple, you want to put like a concealer over or something, yeah. like a little, you know, whatever. Oh, but like, you're doing a whole, on that whole beat. Listen, Fine. a whole <laughs> beat, like a whole beat. And I'm just like, now not to discredit anybody y'all be out here looking amazing we're not saying you okay, don't yeah. look good that's facts like y'all be fucking it up women it's talented to see when y'all like i'd be like oh like her makeup is nice it's b mm-hmm. but it's like give yourself a break sometimes especially the ones that y'all truly 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 don't need the shit and be feeling mm-hmm. like y'all do like take that shit off for a day and truly look at yourself for real. yeah you know but i mean like i like how people i like the artists like makeup artists when they mm-hmm. do like all that cool stuff mm-hmm. it's an, like i said it's an art it's tough yeah man. but i mean if you like makeup i'm not saying anything is better like if that's mm-hmm. your thing that's your thing yeah i, I know somebody who literally <laughs> won't put on any makeup except mascara <laughs> no, i am i am not one of them bro i am not one of them. Listen, and I i'm like i get it lashes years ago oh gosh <laughs> and that was that on that <laughs> it was your family and your mom being extra so i was like oh my god you look so beautiful and i was like i'm gonna need y'all to get off my dog though like you're so annoying get off like, my dog so, so a nigga can't and then it's that you see that's that bullshit so a nigga can't yes be beautiful without makeup no i'm lying because mm-hmm. my daddy be calling me beautiful <laughs> i'm like <laughs> thanks you treat me like a go girl away no, acting like one <laughs> late <laughs> sir try again <laughs> okay. Next life like mm, but <laughs> that's funny i just you know to each his own i just like you said some of that shit the the stark contrast is different like it's just like people walk up to me i i would like to know who you are versus like who you pretend to be on social media or who you aspire to be i'm not even gonna say pretend who you aspire to be i need you to like keep it a little consistent because y'all see me outside i look the same way as i do on instagram as wherever else because like i don't have time i don't have the patience i'm also like yeah the patience to like be doing makeup and all of that like girl i agree i think i look the same as i do yeah like i might <laughs> and it, it's the snapchat filters and shit too that people be using because some of them use snapchat filters to like a point where it's like what do you the actually look is, like like there's no real picture because it's all filter yeah and like that was one of the things i think i mentioned before like on the dating sites niggas would be like upset in their bio like if you have filters i'm not like no swipe left <laughs> and i just feel like damn nigga you mad <laughs> Niggas just tired of the shit. Yeah, like, none of your pictures are regular. And I made an effort, like, because, like, even with myself, like, when I was... Because, I, I like listen, I too. love me a Snapchat filter, okay? Snapchat filters yeah, reign supreme. Snapchat got like, filters. Exactly. Like, they got the bone structure. They got That's the only reason I keep it. <laughs> Literally. Because I don't post on Snapchat. It's for the filters. And yep. just like I say videos and shit like mm-hmm. that. That's the only reason Exactly. Why. Literally it. So, like, you know, I make sure, like, when I was on the dating profiles, that I would, like, have at least one or two, like, natural pictures where there's no filter. Because I'm like, bitch, these little hearts around my head look cute. I like the little, you know, make mm-hmm. my eyes look all low-key light brown or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. A little grainy effect, a little, you know, old camera effect. Like, that shit's cute. But, like, mm-hmm. you trying to date people, they don't see no pictures of what you really look like. It's kind of like, mm. You funny we talking about makeup. All right. I don't know if you remember, maybe like a week or so ago, they were talking about the kids going back to, like, school and shit. Mm-hmm. And how these young girls are mm-hmm. going to get in face full beat. Beat for the, for the gods. No. In high school. No. Absolutely not. I personally feel like 
we've said this many times we should let children be children children mm-hmm. like there was a actually funny you said that because there was a girl who um her mom posted her what happened I, no you, I, you go ahead you and she it. had on like um i forgot what she had on she had like this pink thing with like a little sweater and like her skirt and leggings or something but she looked very appropriate for her age like she's a child and they were in the comments roasting the little girl like oh what is this dora the explorer da, 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 da. and oh, i'm just sweet. like not dora yeah, because she had on pink and blue or whatever. And I was just like, you ain't shit. Why are you laughing? Have Stop a bop? it. <laughs> no. I was like, but uh, I was blue. just like, why are y'all coming for this little girl? Because she not wearing stilettos and a mini skirt and a deep cut shirt to show. Like, stilettos. she's oh, in high school. Yeah, and the club. The club. Who? Uh, listen, don't get me started. <laughs> but... They really were in the comments roasting this little girl. And I'm like, first of all, y'all want to talk about bullying and all of this. This is bullying. She's going to see this some way, somehow, because it found its way across my timeline. I'm not in school. Exactly. And y'all are grown ass people talking about what this child should be wearing in a manner of like, she should be more provocative. Like, what y'all want her to wear Louis Vuitton to school and like Balenciagas? Like, is that the problem? Because like, y'all don't see no brands. Balenci's to school. Yeah. Which is insane but, i mean if you gotta go ahead that's your life but at the same no, time like yeah, you I'm shouldn't for that if it's your money yeah you, know, you want for me and mine not so much because the other i think it's kids listen, grow so fast them, they're balenciaga. Them, they're finishing <laughs> no listen you can have some balenciaga for when we step in yeah hell, that's that's not a problem i'm all for the soft life and the but to school my babies but to school me not get one little vans or something like a one Listen, I love me some vans. But like it's funny you say that after school shit because they were talking about y'all posting pictures of your kids before they go to school. What they look like after they got out of school. How up. And I'm like, bruh, just brought me back to my childhood and how I used to look like who did it and got away. (laughs) Especially with my braids or whatever. My mom used to comb my hair and she used to be so pissed off. She'd be like, why do you look like this? <laughs> like, like, be coming home like they went to war. Like, it's <laughs> insane. And then we, we had to wear a uniform. Off, hanging off. Shoulder, like, what shoulders be out? Like, yeah, okay. Listen, my shirt, because we used to wear, like, the uniform dress that tucks in with the shirt or whatever. Little overall looking shit. Listen, one flap out through the middle. Like, I used to look so toe up, like, coming home from school. My mom used to be like, what were you doing at school? Like, what? Stockings have run in them. Like, oh shoes God. look like, what the fuck? Like, oh, I'm good for she used to be so sick of me. Listen, because I used to be on the playground with the boys. Like recess we finna go climb some jungle gyms and do some foolishness like Facts. it's a fun time <laughs> and don't let us be after school more than 10 minutes like what we about to find somewhere to go play go something to do right exactly so like i wanted to see those pictures too i wish they did post them because it's back to school and all we've been seeing is all the babies on their first days and all i'm like oh how cute say that say i have a daughter right mm-hmm. i have my daughter let's say mm-hmm. and she's just like oh da, da, da. my thing is you're not getting no face beat nothing i'm not paying for shit now in your <laughs> senior year of high school by then i would hope that you have got you some little change in your damn pocket mm-hmm. and you can you have the permission to go take yourself and get your little face done yeah i don't have go to a little mat counter or whatever and if that's what you want to do I don't yes. have time for that. But if not 18 then, based on. Not a damn face beat. I am here if you want to be cute and go mm-hmm. put some whatever, whatever on, but we're not doing that. Yeah, like a full we're beat. Now, what that. you going to do for prom? Another full beat? I like the element of surprise and right. time and place like because. Me, when I showed up to prom. Listen, listen we're going to talk about it because when I pulled up to prom, listen, jaws dropped. Okay. Like, because I was yeah, a boy no. all through high school, I was a boy. Either I looked like a little boy or I looked very androgynous, um, except for like me and my friends did like a switcher style thing on the last day of school. And I wore a skirt. People were like, nigga, what the fuck? And I was like, it was a dare. Calm down. And then <laughs> prom, because I had went to New York for my dress. And um, so I was gone. I came back to school like the day of prom. So I had my wrap. I had my hair. I had me a little sewing or whatever, you know, I had my hair straightened with a little leave out. I was out here looking like ooey. Freaking. They were like, oh my God, let me see your hair. And I was just like, no, it's wrapped. Calm down. I, I went to school with a tie Like, I did not give a fuck. Like, mm-hmm. whatever. 
prom night come now my mom's talking about some she put makeup on my face i was like you doing what like i don't want to do that like come on now listen attitude because it's bad enough i got on a dress i got on heels i got nails done i got fucking straight hair like you're doing a lot you want to put makeup on me too like mm-hmm. really ma attitude so of course she put on a little whatever then she come let come let me take picture <laughs> she was so mm-hmm. sick of me with the pictures that i took <laughs> <laughs> but you know i showed up and the people was like wait a minute janae hi yes it's me let's go i'm not doing this like no move <laughs> i'm no get away it was a lot i can't but stuff like that it's like it's an occasion you know what i'm saying you step out you do your little things like oh my god wow but like i feel like when you do certain things like as a regular thing it it loses the wow factor this applies to a lot of shit though yes yes yeah that because yeah. because once again human beings don't understand moderation, moderation mm-hmm. so. and everything is oh let's do it now 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 mm-hmm. fucking relax like Mm-mm. that's yeah. not one of the things that i value the most about like friendships and relationships is like being able to enjoy each other's company with nothing else going on like mm-hmm. we can just exist together and enjoy each other's company one-on-one with no extra additives like we can sit down and talk or we can do a board game or something like not anything like oh we got to go take trips or we're not really friends or you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. so that when we do go on trips we actually know the motherfuckers we on trips with this is what i'm saying and we can mm-hmm. full joy ourselves like you know okay. so i don't know that's just me but call me a grandma <laughs> no I, I i totally get it um I feel you on the prom thing because me that was <laughs> man <laughs> i went um yeah showed up let me see <laughs> like in stanford stanford high like prom day like no one goes to school like no one like oh really god they go to school i, was, I think I we got out early home. I was out running about getting my hair done, my nails mm-hmm. done, my toes done. Auntie Juan did my makeup. She did a little okay. thing for me because I was not with the shits. I was like, look, please. This is bad yeah, enough. she didn't go crazy. A with a little bag. With this, it's a lot. It's a <laughs> not lot a little me. bag. It's enough. I was like, this is a lot for me already. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Showed up. It was like, people was like, well, okay. So we did, I thought you might have wore a tux. What's okay like okay I'm like, mm, yeah listen. i thought about wearing a tux to prom but i was like not for the show out them, fucking shoes. them shoes came off while i was eating my fucking dinner <laughs> the time it was time to get loose on a dance floor i have no shoes on. I oh was god a not a barefoot hoe god damn twin i sure was and then after prom i was able to change my clothes bless god okay yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. for what was it junior homecoming junior homecoming i wore a pantsuit but I had like a local, yes, I had me a pantsuit. Pant <laughs> yes, definitely giving Bet Porter because I had a cute <laughs> little top underneath, a little, le- a little cleavage showing. It was definitely giving Girl, like, nah. okay, no. Fem Dyke, what's, what's happening? Like, you yeah. know, a little sneak a peek with a little heel. Yeah. yeah, it was definitely giving that. <laughs> Uh, no you didn't <laughs> oh i did oh my goodness True um l word enthusiast yes child so on the topic of that funny we got there um mm-hmm. you saw that post by the gleaner Which about one? um who is it by jeffrey shuttleworth the tarrant baptist church pastor talking about what it was it let me read it it says our children must know that there are only two genders, male and female. Our children must know that a man can't marry a man. A woman can't marry a woman. Our children must know foreigners will not tell them that this was basically in an effort to keep, well, to sway Jamaican educators from leaving the country. And I guess that will stop people from going to Jamaica to be teachers. But at the same time, like who's going to Jamaica to be a teacher? That us. Like, I'm not even trying to be funny. But, like, is there, like, an overwhelming amount of teachers coming to Jamaica to teach? Like, I highly doubt that shit. (laughs) Okay. So, yeah, I saw the post and I was just like, really? I will not have strength for when a girl fit in them and disappear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nasty work. The things you choose to focus on. In the fucking Gleaner. You know, Jamaican people do. Like, y'all really posted this on the Gleaner Instagram. You 
<laughs> still bothers still bothers shit. I don't know. Like I don't know. when will they be over it? Couldn't be me. When will they be over it? Bothered I just about what I'll, motherfuckers doing with their lives. I don't I don't <laughs> like how does this affect you and yours? No, for real. No. Like if you're a straight man and you want to be with a woman, then go be with a woman. Yeah, like how many times we got to tell y'all yes, this? And if you want to be with him, be with him. Listen. The gays are not concerned about y'all. Listen, you're a woman that want to be with another woman. It's an issue. And if you was a man that want to be with another man, it's an issue. The part that they're missing, though. Mind your fucking business. But the part that they're missing, though, the part that they're missing that I just i am baffled by is if they've been seeing this all their life and they come to a point in their life when they realize that, hey, I'm attracted to the same gender or, hey, I don't identify with the gender that I am assigned at birth. Mm hmm. If they've been seeing cisgender and heterosexual things their whole life and they still end up coming to this conclusion about themselves, why do you think Girl, that's the biggest introducing that's the biggest one open ever. mindedness yeah, to children like gay people is going to make gay people? So how the fuck do gay people get here from straight people? Yeah, I just, that dumb, part is always the dumbest argument. They never have an answer for it because it doesn't make any fucking sense. How oh, it's a phase. Here? How do we get here? Where I do we see it to begin with? The straightest man and the straightest woman on the planet. Yes, honestly. <laughs> Same. <Okay. laughs> Legit, the straightest man and the straightest woman on this goddamn planet. And yeah. I assure you. Well, mm, we're not too sure about somebody in our mind, but, you know, <laughs> let you know, me stop. <laughs> I am weird. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, there's nothing I can say now. The offspring, that's a whole different situation. <laughs> but, mm, yeah, like, mm -mm. I just, no. the math doesn't math. Like, why do you think well, that's teaching. Why they want us to adopt and shit like that. Cause oh, yeah, of course not. Because we're going to teach them to be gay. We're going to make them gay. At the end of the day, I'm always coming back to this. If you are fully heterosexual, can you actually get aroused by someone of the same sex? Like, how is that, like, how is that an argument? Like, if you yourself can't see yourself ever making out with somebody of the same sex, having sex with somebody of the same sex, you just are completely repulsed at the idea of it or whatever the case is. It doesn't That's turn like you on. A man and man turn me on. No, yeah, like, no, no. like, how Same. are you going to how are we going to convince you? Listen, twin, there's a man out there. He fine as hell. He got all the things that you need. Go there with him. Like, what? No, he's yeah, missing the front. Mean, he can't be a man. <laughs> like, that's he what I'm saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's like, you can't sit here and be like, oh, you're going to turn. Like, you can't turn anybody it's anything. Way than that from me. Like, I don't care. Like, there's handsome guys. Listen, I have handsome guy friends. I know, I have known handsome guys. And listen, I stop these guys and I tell you, I don't matter, gay, straight, whoever you want to be, I'm going <laughs> to tell you handsome or you fine. I will tell mm -hmm. you fine so quick. I don't give a damn about none of that. Martin can't do it to me. He could stand out here with the shirt off. Listen, I'm sorry. A man could stand out here butt ass naked. In front of me, and I'm telling you, I'm going to probably be like, brother, where your clothes? <laughs> you know, cool. I'm, you ain't going to be no turn on nothing. There's nothing for me to turn on. You have the on a breast. You know, speaking, spe speaking of oh, well, men with their clothes me. off. What is happening? Not, you ain't talking about spice, are you? Yes. Oh, the trauma on my life. <laughs> First of all, I was contacted by multiple people last night to go over to Spice's Instagram to go watch this tape measure thing. First of all, you had sent me the video about the Rastaman, how she and the man mash up, whatever, whatever. So I said, damn, you're right. I haven't seen nothing on her page about him in a minute. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go see what I keep from when she not post me. She deleted and picture them. And beer tape measure me sip on her page. I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, did she get hacked? But I was like, no, because she's still right posting. Now, I don't mean to cut you, because right now, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta's on. Yes. And, 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 and on the season right now, they're together right now. Oh. So with, it's a little confusing to everyone, because it's like, what am I watching? But y'all know they pre-record. Things are recorded mm -hmm. months In ago. advance. And this Spice is up, come back to. He's trying to, uh, a, fuss of a Jamaican Leo woman. Yeah. Like, control weird. Control weird. Yeah. That kind of sound like the rest of my women did I try do a thing with. Because I was like, damn, they mash up. And I said, damn, me and my rest of did mash up too, you know. Mm. Damn. You are stupid. <laughs> you are like, stupid. I was like, you know, Spice can do it. I can do it too. No, it never worked for neither one of it. Because it's one of my Yankee and it just never. Like, 
it's something about like trying to control like you mm, certain type of woman you can't carry them kind of argument googie because you trying Honestly. to do what it's just like why, my thing is like I'm not trying to control you so why the fuck is you trying to control me exactly Please. that part like, I met you as you are and I f- grown feelings for you as you are why you won't come change me the problem is it's like someone's walking all right how about this i'm gonna get all cute with this ready Mm -hmm. so it's like you're walking in the jungle right and you see Mm -hmm. this beautiful ass flower right Mm -hmm. you see it you're like damn this flower pretty oh i already know where you're going with this so nice it's so nice so nice you're admiring it until the point where you're like nah now i want to pick it up and take it home and want it for myself and a nigga like me um, is going to photograph it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to photograph when you take it. take it off from where it is, it, it's going to die, right? Hmm. Okay, people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, people, this control thing. Like, stop trying to control Mm-mm. people. It'll never make sense. I want you as you are. And I know that over time, people change and they grow and they learn. Yes. Well, I hope anyways. Yeah, that's, so, like, that's different. Yeah. yeah. So like I'm the type of person like I am taking you in as you are. What you're showing me is what I'm accepting. Now, if for some reason what you're showing me is not something that I'm okay with, if yeah. you're okay with it, we might just have to part ways. Or mm-hmm. I will have to be like, okay, this is something that I'm going to have to be okay with. Either I'm accepting it or I'm separating myself from it. Because why am I gonna mm-hmm. try and change you? Especially right. if you're comfortable and happy with how you are and what this instance of your life is, like, who am I? Exactly. Me no more than you, you no more than me. So why me feel like say me can't come in at your life and say, hey, boops, you not do this for the last 10 years of your life? That God, done. You not do that no more. People really think they can do that. Like, people Listen, really think they can see you as you are. They come into your life and they feel like they can sit here and alter what the fuck you already had going on. And mm-hmm. it's kind of insane. And I Very. don't know what kind of... Narcissistic? I don't know. I'm just. I don't. I don't want to control nobody. I like when everybody feeling free because when people feel free, you get to see them at their best. Oh right? yes, I like to see people for who they really are, real, who they truly are. And to me, that's what you truly fall in love with, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that the person is just free out here, and you know you ain't controlling them. Listen, I. The only thing I. Re- I don't in relationships. Listen, it's all about respect for me. Mm. Okay, like I'm not controlling. I'm not the oh you can't wear. I'm not the Mm-mm. oh you can't go. I'm not. Listen, the, I'm not none of them people. Oh, I want me trip. I gotta take a trip. You wanna go a single trip? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely I'm not. I'm not the person that I'm. Cause go ahead, baby. Baby, life do you want some spending money? Like why? Go ahead, baby. Life is for living. Have fun with your people. Do mm-hmm. what you gotta do. You already know my number. I know yours. Link. Exactly. Whatever. Just let me know you reach safe and that's this it. That's what I'm saying. Um, if your shit is that tight, there's not even a need for you to be like, yo, don't you know a little joke. Yeah. Don't make me like, have to come Don't, make me, don't have make me have to come beat your ass. Don't let me and find you know out. And you know it's a thing. Yeah. So you send her away knowing like, hey, I, listen, what's mm-hmm. up? But it's never nothing serious. Exactly. These people be like, nah, she can't go on no trips because I don't know. Nigga, shut. Nigga, that means your shit. Because you don't know what. Nigga, exactly. That. That. Because if you already feeling like this, especially if it's early in a relationship and you want some, oh, you can't do. Oh, baby, that foundation is shaky, shifty, and very fragile. No. (laughs) No, baby. Listen, like Spice said, what she said? Men love, she said, men love, love, sir. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Listen, I just said that. On the other side, you have Krishan and Blueface. Oh, baby, please don't. Jesus wept. Mm-hmm. What? He's a hater. The hell is going on? Okay, like, we legit so, watching the, some crazy domestic shit violence, like, dog, an abusive so relationship. I am so scared about that. About the situation with them too. Who like, are you afraid like, for? You know, I'm not gonna say it because you know, you know, you know. I'm not. I'm, hmm. Yeah. Mouth. Yeah, let me kibba, cause yeah. yeah. Let me not say what I want to say, cause you know, a lot of the times we end up in these very weird situations. Yes. It's this. It's I, I don't even know. Like we went. It's very real ghetto shit. Yeah. It's and it's not even. It's not even the ghetto aspect of it. It's downright scary. It's very triggering for some dangerous, people. I can imagine bro. that is oh, dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah. Like you are on so many media platforms. Whether you're sharing it to just Twitter or just Instagram, mm-hmm. it is stretching across all of the platforms. Mm-hmm. There's no age restriction on the shit. And if there is, the kids are logging in and seeing it regardless. Exactly. It is everywhere. And y'all just slap that. Why has Instagram blocked y'all from being on their profile, like on their platform or Why wherever? 
Why would they? I mean, that? they buy Boosie. You know, they pick, <laughs> choose, and refuse when they want to do shit. You know, true. That. I guess because it's a black woman getting beat up, so it doesn't matter. You saw the video the other day when they was fighting again, right? Which and one? Like, and then he was like near her. He was trying to like knee her when she was on no. the ground. No. no, no, God, I missed that one. No, this is. I think this is one from the night when she got arrested because she was punching him. Oh, after that. oh, that you saw one. how he. You saw the her little the boss patch. Right now? Yes. Oh. She told my son, show him the bathroom door. Don't cap on that. Show him the bathroom the door. door. Dog? What door? Down. Like, not even just down. Broke in, like. Done. Done. Um, because of what's in his see, phone? I'll say it like this. I don't see good things. And, man, good luck, bro. A part of me feels like it's for publicity because he is always running to the internet with it. It's always him. But at the same time, a lot of people are saying that he's like a hater because she's bigger than him technically because him she now. is yeah. the big baby on Bad Girls Club or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, who the fuck is, like, what songs does he sing? Bust on Tariata? And that's it? Like, what well, else she, does he do? Bad Girls, she could never be on Bad Girls. Baddies? Whatever the fuck it's called. Baddies, uh-uh. South, whatever the fuck the shit's called. What's the respect on BGC? Cause BGC I'm sorry, Bad Girls Club was, yeah, there was. I've baddies, never watched Baddies though. He is ghetto as hell. It's legit bitches fighting in Airbnbs, honestly. Oh, shit. And, and twerking on each other and being drunk and shit. And then fighting. Oh. Like, it's just... Yeah, I've never watched, watched it. You know, it. like a little, a little ghetto in my team. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched it, so I don't even know. I think I've probably seen maybe one episode. And you I was like, oh, the, she's cute. I think cute. that should be on your TV, Zeus. It is. It is. It. I don't like, browse it. I tried. If you, I tried if it ain't to watch, tell me. I'll send you the credentials. I tried to watch uh, Jocelyn's Cabaret. <laughs> Cabaret. Oh, God. <laughs> do it like it's my B day, baby. Listen, I just, you know, I think it sucks though that like she thinks that she's in love with him. That's the part that fucks it up for me. Cause it's like she really be out here trying to, first of all, a lot of the videos, she be trying to protect him. Like she be, don't show them that. That's gonna make them think. And it's just like, mm, looks like a duck, talks like a duck. Can I, because I watch baddies as well, mm-hmm. so I've observed her, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. without him, you know, just mm-hmm. stuff. I'm, um, I'm concerned for her. I'm not a fan of hers. Mm-hmm. Um, she's just a little, just, you know, erratic. You want to fight for no reason types. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. You Everything she want to fight. Like, you want to fight. Like, it's, I hate people like that. Like, please mm. get a job or something. Like, relax. <laughs> you just oh, take a nap. For real. She got so a lot of pent go. up anger. She needed to seek she help, gets, therapy. She gets in, I'm, like slow. Like, I'm good. yeah, she, she definitely gives that. She give me slow vibes and I'm good. I mean, she plays that. football. So she does not my type. You know what I'm saying? She's not my type. Mm-hmm. But I, what, what is happening right now with her is concerning. Mm-hmm. And even if you're not the type of person I would follow or look mm-hmm. up to or anything like that, I still for another, you know, you yeah, still a human you being. Woman. You an ex woman. Yeah. Like you need yeah, tight. You need to tighten up. And you need to get the, away from him before you get your ass in some shit. Yeah, nigga, I was watch. We were watching you get arrested on Zeus while you were getting arrested again in real life. Mm-hmm. Was it a marshals came for her or some shit like that? Dog, uh, yeah, like that shit is very crazy. That's crazy. And she got a warrant out for her arrest, like baby. Yeah, like, that bitch what? was running around partying and shit, but they caught that ass. That's ridiculous. Like I understand your this is probably contributing to your brand, but what so, happens when you are incarcerated for real? No, let her, no, let her be fucking around. She a fucking idiot. Like you got a little album or whatever mixtape. You got some songs. Okay, that's cool. But you heard that shit. It's a vibe all the time. That I shit. heard that. Out of, are there, oh, all the time. Like she it's like rock nuts. rap. Yeah, it's like, like alternative. What the fuck, girl? It, it. I legit. When I first heard it, it gave me like Willow, like because you know Willow has like a rock that. band. Yeah, Willow. Yeah. So um, it girl, gave that, but then I was just like, mm. I, I just, I feel like you can tell that that nigga's a hater, as far as like you know, her business aspect of it. So it's kind of like, huh? Yeah. Like, like you want to just lick your finger and just wipe off the dirt. Like just, yeah, I, want beard, first of all. I also don't like the fact that, um, 
her his name and image is all over her it's like you can't see her without seeing him like you don't went and put your fucking face like put this nigga's face on your tooth like it's bad enough it was on your neck but now it's on your tooth so anytime you say anything this nigga's face is right there she's like you're slow. pushing him down our throats she's slow i assure you she's slow like and there was some rumor i don't know if it's true or not that she signed over all her income to With him her all her zeus money yes she's slow i'm done I'm telling you, she's slow. That's why he was trying to pay her $2 million to leave him? $2 million? Dog, ain't- like two... Listen, ain't he... Man... Yo, okay. Listen, friend... Slow. I don't friend, care what anybody says. Yeah. If I ever end up in no kind of situation where I start acting special like this, please. I'm putting you down. Like, like I'm okay I'm with it. Down. I'm, I'm okay with down. it. I'm telling you. I'm okay you. with it. Because... I'm okay no. with it. I already... I'm not gonna put you down. I'm gonna just call in the troops. <laughs> Not the troops. When I call in the troops, I'm probably gonna have to link up with people. I don't even, you know. I know. But I'm like, I know. Um, there's a crisis here. <laughs> we have a, a mutual, and there's a crisis. Listen, so, and I need you to bring your little y'all go whoop my ass. You know, <laughs> and um, yeah, step in her chest real quick. And yeah, then I'm gonna go get brother. Listen, I'm a. Ooh, I already man. know. Rounding don't up everybody. Don't make me get. The top two is Listen, going. Jesus Lord, child. I'm afraid that they ain't even in a situation. <laughs> Girl, I will listen. listen. Yeah. I will call the farm. Don't play. And my thing is, my thing <laughs> my thing with that though is like she don't have people that care about her. I understand she's supporting her family, like all 15 or 20, 30, however many of them. I understand that, but you ain't got no friends. You ain't got nobody in your life that cares about you. That no. could be like, baby. This ain't no, it. They because with this, they are enjoying whatever they get off of her back. You get what I'm saying? The more she does this, it's the more followers. You know, it's all about followers. You My thing that. with this though is so anybody in their right mind, right, can mm-hmm. look at this from an objective standpoint, take themselves out of it and look like, listen, this is great right here, but how where's the longevity on this? Mm-hmm. It's just fun for right now. You don't want something that's gonna last, that's gonna bring Not fun you at all. It, it's not fun at all. Mm. Niggas is just fighting and shit. And she's like 24, is she? If that old? She, she's young. Is a young girl. You know what? I'm I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna call her an idiot because I've had my my um my yam head with, days, child. Yeah, I know you want running with like a toxic relationship. Hmm. Or two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or two. <laughs> maybe even oh. or a few child I have, listen. my head is tough so <laughs> it's it, a hard it, head yeah but not on no shit where you snatching out my hair first of all this embarrassment first of all for people to know on such a wide scale that i'm here getting my hair pulled out i'm that part dust in my face my pride that part the way my my shame tree would i just trung like trung in a for me, something stand no. up strong, because nah, I personally I, I have been through some shit. It. What I people don't know about, I know I could never be in ever again in my life. Mm-hmm. But also, this embarrass, this levels of embarrassment, and I ain't getting locked up for nobody. That part, and I was almost there, and that is why hmm. that was the moment I knew I had to get. The Pack it up, let's go. That's when I knew I had to get the fuck, and that was the last straw because I knew like, oh, see, I can get arrested for you. Yeah. Like, I could really just... Yeah. Like, you gonna push me to that point? Like, I... mm -mm. Time for me to go. And and my thing with that, too, is, like, you're allowing me to get to that point to get... So you don't give a fuck about me. Fuck about me. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I'm pissed off enough to to put myself in jail behind you, and you don't give a fuck enough about me to stop whatever the fuck is going on so that I don't end up in jail. You don't care that much about me. It's whatever the fuck your issue is, and that's all that matters. So that's where y'all are at. Like, nah, how person, see? But how, wait, wait. So how the person is supposed to know that what they're doing is going to make you want to go to jail? Listen, some people can't wait, tell enough. Wait. Because my thing is like, first of all, one game I don't play is calling the police. Oh, I feel like if I ever get to a point where I feel like I have to call uh, the police on you, I got to go. I have to I have to separate um, myself. I feel like I was involved with someone who tried to act like they were calling the police. <laughs> yeah. Do I recall wrong, friend? No, because me did that too. You was there, right? Who yeah. tried to act like Yeah. Meanwhile, I was not the aggressor. Yes. So <laughs> 
Yeah. But these hoes is crazy. So, but once again, when I was younger, even, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, I'm a completely different headspace. I feel like I've aged <laughs> well. so much in these <laughs> past, listen, in these past, like, how many years? Like, certain years. Shit, I look back, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Did we really put ourselves through this? Like, yeah, like bitches, y'all caught me on off some off years, but that's okay. You live and you learn, you grow. You feel me? I need somebody to do something about them though, because I just see dangerous things happening, and I don't really. As slow as she is, I want nothing bad to happen. To you. Exactly. Like, I mean, well wishes to everybody. Facts. But <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm all about getting a bag, getting to a bag, all of that. But there are certain limitations where it's like. Is this what your brand is? Certain limitations on getting to the back. I got a question when you're done. Go ahead. I'm gonna take. A What's the question? First, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Take a detour. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you have you watched P Valley yet, bro? No. I'm gonna go turn it on when we finish recording. So we can't talk. So I don't want. I don't really want to talk about it yet. Then. Okay. Can you just give me what a snippet? It, okay. Basically, what I'm saying is, um, the actor that plays Little Murder. Mm-hmm. He is a straight man. Married oh, I heard kids. about this. Right. I heard. I think we we briefly spoke about this. Like right. he did a gay scene or something like that. He's gay in general on the show. Okay, but I'm saying like there's a yeah, gay like a sex, sex scene. scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it kind of blew up again after we thought oh. like it. It like it keeps going. Like people. Okay. And then oh, it's getting gayer and gayer. Huh? Yeah. It's, it's getting like, gayer. Keep going. But okay. I found it funny, like, he posted something today, so he's he has, like, a big-ass role coming up. Now. Okay. And something that's not P-Valley, something mm-hmm. that's completely different. And mm-hmm. then you got the people underneath, oh, yeah, da 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 and they praising it, and da 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 But these are, like, some of the same people mm-hmm. that were under the other post talking about, oh, no, couldn't be me. Mm-hmm. And, they, and they're saying the same thing how you just said, oh, there's certain things I wouldn't do for the mm-hmm. bag. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say, oh, well, he sold his soul for the bag. Is that selling what yourself? Do exactly. Well, I'm yeah, talking listen, about you, you know if you're doing a gay thing for for pay, he definitely sold mm-hmm. his soul a million times. You know that. You People know talking about oh well he has sons. Okay, and I'm sure he talked to his sons about the well, fact he that he's acting. I don't know if they're two boys. Whatever he has children, he has. I'm pretty sure the food on their table, the clothes on their back, and the roof That's of their I head think. are not complaining about daddy acting in a role. That's what I'm saying. I'm because like, honestly, he's man, probably not even actually fucking. Exactly. He's probably not even actually fucking the person in the fucking he's thing. Not, it's probably a stunt bro. double. He's if not. That. Like, I mean, people act like you're legit seeing penetration. Like you watch Oh, so it, it just like, looks like it? Shit. Oh, yeah, see, I haven't seen it, so like I don't it. know. You know the- okay. They under the covers or whatever the fuck and the little or shadow you know, and whatever they euphoric right. and faces. Like, well, I know they kissing. Like, oh my gosh. Like Oh wow. Just... Kissing. Y'all be kissing y'all kids in the mouth with the same mouth y'all sucking dick with. Y'all so dick with. talk about it. Wow. <laughs> like, what's the problem? <laughs> like <laughs> y'all have limitations when it comes to shit that you don't agree with, but y'all turn around and do the same shit. Like it's a double standard and hypocrisy for me. Like he sold his soul. mm -hmm. He's an actor. Yeah. You sold your soul for them damn shoes that you waited in line for, for however many hours and paid extra for. Watch her. Look how this man about to watch how this man about to speed up. Cause the man can act first mm -hmm. of all friend. Okay. I love him. Like, I stand like love him mm-hmm. and ugh, listen protect him at all costs okay and I i'm wish definitely him great success and then watch how he about to watch how he about to shock out yeah watch him i feel like he's gonna do big things yes okay that's what's up i love seeing that i love black people winning i don't care what it is as long as you're not hurting yourself hurting anyone, or hurting, hurting anyone else yeah. yes like i love to see black people win so i'm here for that um yeah, not a thing. I think, no. No. <laughs> child. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> chargers and challengers are being discontinued. Amen. Listen, Atlanta is about to be in shambles. What are the yeah, What are the new Atlanta niggas about, about to drive? Girl. Like, listen, I ain't girl. never in my life. Seen so many challengers and chargers till I came to this city of Atlanta. Like, 
It like is that like the city's official vehicle? Like oh, they got a sponsorship? Got official vehicle. <laughs> like is there a sponsorship from Dodge? Like it is wild how many challengers and chargers are in Atlanta. Like one in every five car let me stop. <laughs> but, but they're freaking discontinuing yeah, it next year. All right, let me see. They're discontinuing the gas power challenger and charger. As brand transitions to, oh, they're transitioning to electric vehicles. So they're probably going to come out with the same thing. Yeah, it's electric. Yeah. Um, Hi, Marcia. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently, apparently. Oh, what about the same? Cars have been part of the fuel economy and emissions problem for, yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I figured it was something to do with the emissions because Atlanta. So they're going to be electric. Are they still going to be chargers and challengers? They're probably going to be called something else. And it's probably going to be a similar model. But mm. just electric or probably hybrid, because that's, that's one electric. of the things I've learned about here. Also, like they do emissions tests, like it's required when you renew your um, registration and stuff like that here. So mm -hmm. that's probably well, that is the reason why they're getting rid of that shit for the most part, because they contribute to pollution. And, you know, they finally want to do something about the atmosphere and, and such global warming. Um, Bye. <laughs> um what else we got on here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i have a question no <laughs> what's the question well first of all do you believe in house clothes um yes okay so you have clothes that specifically like you only wear in the house um Yes, I have like, I have like certain shirts on. So we like, you kind of know that this shirt, like maybe it's teeing up. I have, you mm -hmm. know, in a look too good or it's stretch mm -hmm. old. You know, like that's when I'm in the house, I'm chilling. Okay. I'm not about to go outside in this one. Like mm -hmm. I have some certain thing where it's like going out V-necks at home V-necks. Like, yeah. Okay. Shorts okay. for house or something. Yeah. Why? Okay. okay. Uh well it it's um this is a leading question. So do you have like pajamas specifically or are house clothes and pajamas kind of like one and the same? Um I'm not really wear pajama in a friend. The okay. house clothes is or sleep I clothes. Kinda, I usually sometimes I usually sleep in like a v-neck and my boxer briefs. So okay. Like... Okay. Okay. Um <laughs> All right. So, you know, I like to be naked in my house, right? Mm -hmm. So I have this thing where, like, I have house clothes, quote unquote, I do. Mm -hmm. And then I also have, like, pajamas, like, sleep clothes and also mm -hmm. sleep naked, but whatever. Um, but sometimes, like, if I have to run and go check the mail or something, I'll put on something real quick. And I come back in the house and I take off my clothes. Would you consider those clothes now dirty or would they still be clean? Oh, <laughs> technically, <laughs> Lord, technically, <laughs> they might smell a little like outside. Mm -hmm. So them not dirty, but them also not clean at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's up to you, though, because that one that gets a little touchy. Because how long were you out there for? Like Literally just went to the mailbox and came back. OK, well, no, 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 no. I ain't got time for that. Like, we, you're fine. You're OK. If I feel like if you outside for longer than like an hour or some shit like that, then we stepping into. Ah, yeah. Do those Dirty. clothes go into the wash then? Well, yeah. OK, do. so you just wear them like go? like you go to the grocery store. You, put them you, in go... a, you might put them in a the hamper. Like, OK. Okay. Why are you? What the fuck going on? Son? No, I'm asking because, like, okay, so like the mailbox clothes would that go in the hamper too, or does that go back in with the clean clothes, or do you put it to the no, side? No, that's a good hamper. I can't go in that clean clothes. <laughs> why, the, why, why, why you put that in that clean clothes? No, you're okay, outside. no. But if you know, if you had just like you said, like I said, if you just went to the mailbox, that's mm -hmm. fine. Them the clothes that is all right. But they like, going back in the clean clothes. Work, you taking them off? I'm confused here. Yes, if you're taking it off, like people like me who don't wear clothes in the house, like you go check the yeah. mail and then you come back in. Um, do you put it in the wash? Would, they could be no. Those could be kind of like I don't think I would put them in a the clean or the dirt or the hamper. You put those in the little side mm -hmm. that's for 
have you ain't i might wear that again tomorrow to go check the mail again correct that's what i that's my pile yeah okay i just want to make sure i'm not weird Oh, you do the same? Me. Yes, because okay. I have an ottoman at the foot of my bed, and that's where I put, like, my clothes. Like, if I wore it, like, it's lightly worn. Just a little bit. It's lightly worn. Yes. yes of course. I'll put, it, I'll put it on the ottoman because I might need to go run to take out the trash or It'd run to right go check in the chair. mail. And my hood yeah. is there for when I don't, yes. Exactly. Because yeah. yeah. I really want a chair for my room to put that stuff on, but it's no, like, like my people try to tell me. To throw it over the back sometimes. Exactly. Yes, I know. I, like, I, yes. Okay. I'm just going to make sure. Say, listen, if y'all are listening to this and y'all are objecting, I need feedback. Do y'all have in-between clothes? <laughs> like, Because my thing is, I'm not putting, I wore it outside. I'm not putting it back in the clean clothes. I don't care if it was 10 minutes. It went outside. I'm not yeah. putting it back in the clean clothes. Yeah, it's not in the clean clothes, but it's definitely in yeah, the, but it's um, not like dirty. Clothes. So it's, it's like, like here, you still have more wears left. Exactly, like you know, I, I might understand. wear this for ten minutes for the rest of the week <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> to go do a little, you know, no, like the good way night. Right, exactly, we'll weird. like if one of the service them people them come, I might run go put it on real quick right. and let you in the house so you can do whatever right. you service like it in the house. The yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. or if I need to go grab something out the car real quick, you know, just put on something fit, you know? Okay. Yeah, I like me when I go on the patio. Yes. Like, be- listen, the amount of times I almost flash my neighbors because I'd be like, I'm going to go on the patio. Bitch, I need to put on clothes. You're luckier on that because the back of your patio is yeah. like legit. You're facing like the trees and the shit. Yeah, but you can kind of see like the little parking lot for the next place yeah. and kids be out there playing. So I'd be like, mm. Mm cover up the tits <laughs> no, but good. yeah ciao I'd be, I'd be out there hanging though bro <laughs> well um, yeah i'd be butt booty ass naked so i'd be having to put something on because that's illegal apparently friend yeah i'd be forgetting though i'd be like going about my day in the house and then i'm like oh i gotta go on a patio to get oh no can't do that yeah, yeah, you want to figure it out when you close one of them damn nipples <laughs> in the damn door <laughs> then your ass gonna learn <laughs> You ain't never gonna forget ever again. I want you to know that every other week, I be ready to lose a nipple. Okay, I'm like, telling you, you want to be cute with it. Shit's be in Yo. danger all the time. <laughs> like it's a struggle out here. Okay, like. Mm-mm. So we got in between clothes. I just want to make sure I wasn't tripping on the in between clothes. So um, we talked about spice tape measure. What else was going on? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Hmm. I just want to know Nothing how I ain't get no pictures of Poppy on first day, but we're not gonna talk about that on air. Anyways, oh, um, yeah, that both. <laughs> hmm. yeah, but Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, so <laughs> I <laughs> um I came across this. I don't know if it's a poem or just like it's a piece of writing it's a prose um and i thought it was very interesting and i want to share it with the people then okay so it's there's not really a title but in very large letters it says deep rest like d-e-e-p-r-e-s-t so it starts off and says the word depressed can be spoken as deep rest we can choose to view depression not as a mental illness but as a state of deep rest a spiritual exhaustion that we enter into when we are depressed pressed down by the weight of the fate oh by the weight of the false self the mask the mind the mask the mind made story of quote-unquote me We long to stop pretending and express our raw truth, to give voice to our secret loneliness, our shame, our broken hearts, boredom, and brilliant rage. Depression's call to truth needs to be listened to and understood, not analyzed or medicated away. There's no shame in your exhaustion. We are all exhausted, my love. Slow down today. Allow yourself to rest deeply and weep and breathe and begin again now. I say our depression is holy. It contains the seed of new life. And I saw that and Amen. I was like, that is Send me that. I will. I was like, damn, Amen, that it was written by Jeff Foster, whoever that is, shout out to you. Cause I was like, damn. Yeah, I feel, I feel <laughs> so for those of you Jeff, who are feeling you. away, allow yourself to feel it. That's what I was saying. Et cetera. Um, I don't have anything else on this here. <laughs> you said you're going to sleep. I said, yes. Go, go sleep. 
you know that's me deep rest indeed <laughs> like, listen when deep rest i go into deep rest mm-hmm. I make fire and tell yeah i'm telling you sometimes <laughs> the fuck i sleep i when they sleep i wake up it's a different so exactly yeah a lot of people get worked up on things not mm-hmm. me when i get worked up i'm gonna go take me i'm probably gonna smoke hmm. and then i'm gonna take a nap and then when i wake up i can we'll deal out. with whatever is happening I, I think as I'm going up, up into these thirties here, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, it's really stuff is really just very much okay or blah. I'm not, you know, me and my serenity. Listen, bad. Like if it's not going up, well, maybe next time. Like I'm not stressful. Uh, no, at all, at mm-mm. all. But tell you just take a nap when you wake up a different stuff. Okay? Exactly. Not themselves and them. So I mean, I want all quick. Yeah, you take a break from what it is you're like obsessing over, and then you can come back with a clearer mind. Like, exactly. look at it with fresh eyes, with new eyes, whatever it is, yeah. and like exactly. work through it. If you can't because change it, over it is not going to help you figure shit. it out. If you can't yeah. change it, learn to accept it or separate yourself from it. That's as simple as that. And if you can change it, then pray for the courage or the strength or hope or manifest or whatever the courage and the strength to make the change. If you can change it, it's literally as simple as that. It sounds like, Oh my God. But like, if you stop and look at the shit, like, can you change it? Can you not change it? It's literally two options. So do with that what you will. Um, through and through. Listen, and while y'all are here doing the supporting thing, we have a free shipping promo going on with Pointless Crafts um, until September 5th, cold Labor Day. Go ahead, buy you some things. If you spend over $50, it's free shipping. Okay. Come fuck with me. There's buttons and shit on there, too. Rack it up. If you're like $5 short, just buy a button. Buy a sticker. <laughs> um, but that, that Gryffindor one, though. That Gryffindor oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody said I should make a Hufflepuff one next, and I'm like, mm, not probably. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. when you remember people in like their houses, houses that exist. Oh. Yeah, their houses. Child. Can I get a Slytherin? Whoa. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna make all of them eventually. I like you're gonna do, but all of them. you know, I had to do Gryffindor first because what crimson and gold. But um, <laughs> 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 but anyways, um, we can leave y'all on that note. Um, mm-hmm. I actually have a cute little two-liner by i think let me not even say they gay they black that's all that matters um it's somebody's header on instagram not instagram on twitter it says i felt you in my soul before i knew what you tasted like and i just thought that was interesting like ooh, deep it's by sade their name is sade dominique on instagram i mean on twitter okay. i keep saying instagram on twitter it says poet sade dominique so shout out to you you like that yeah, I thought that was cute. I felt you in my soul before I knew what you tasted like. Like, that's... Mm. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> what, friend? Leave things I happened upon. Anyways, y'all, make sure y'all check out all the things that we do over here at Pointless Talks, Pointless Creates, Pointless Everything. <laughs> we are now on Stitcher. Um stitcher.com slash pointless talks if you listen to podcasts on stitcher you can find us there um we're on amazon music audible um and many many other platforms those are just the newest ones uh, subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram twitter pointless talks and lion young the dem sugar underscore figure out which one all is which things, all the things <laughs> and whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you so so much for listening to this episode of pointless talks bye be safe <laughs>